Greg's house on Del Mar Circle in West Melbourne. Greg asked me to come out and inspect the roof for hail damage. Uh, after talking to the neighbor who just had their roof recently replaced um, due to hail, he asked um, if I would come out and inspect this roof. And of course, only being two houses down, um, he has just as much or probably even more um, conclusive proof that there was hail on his house as well too. So I wanna talk about that real quick. By the way, I'm not from the insurance company, I'm from Florida Native Roof. Uh, I'm really just here to, to show that there's conclusive hail damage and then hopefully meet the adjuster and walk the roof and probably have to just remark the whole thing when we meet the adjuster. So really textbook examples of hail impact marks. You have what look like, you know, hail embedding granules into the shingles themselves. Now granted, the, the, the hail event for this side of town was 5-4-19. Um, it came from the south, not the north, like the other hailstorm that was a month before that. And so that's why this south side is, is much more uh, peppered with hail marks than say the, the protected north side. Okay, and then um, these lines here denote uh, creased, creased shingles. How about this one here, okay? Um, so again, um, we, I basically checked the entire roof. It's not my job to find every hail impact, but I do try to find a good job of finding like eight, 10 um, in a certain uh, square area. So I mark off a 10 by 10 after I find a sufficient amount of hail. And so let me just show you some of these, all right? Um, some of these have been here so long, you can literally see the, uh, the fiberglass inside the matting of the, of the shingle. Uh, we have, it literally was this way when I walked up on the roof. And then um, I thought this was a really good example too. So typically with insurance companies, they love, love, love telling uh, roofing contractors, no, that's not hail, that's blistering. That's silly, that's, that's simple blistering. Well, here's a perfect example, and you can obviously see the difference. So this is a, a very typical hail impact mark. And look at these little pock marks. So those are obviously blisters. And so I marked those for you. And I have uh, tons of photos as well too that I'll include attached to the video as well. So you can clearly see side by side the difference between blisters and hail impact marks. Another thing we do is we check the metals, but all these are hard metals, so you're really not gonna show a icy little you know, impact mark. Um, did I miss anything else? I mean, there is a big dent right there, but who's to say what that is? Could be. So along with the hail impacts, of course you have high rate of winds. And so with that, you have a lot of creasing on the ridge vents, ridge cap shingles, I mean. Okay. Um, we have a nice rusty old roofing nail that's literally wiggling its way up through the roof that I found. There's the crease marks, same here. And then again, this is, this is more of the prevailing side. So there's a few impact marks there. Not much going on over on this side. Here's a nice crease that, oh wow. So we have debris, we have rusted nails. So that guy's been there for a long time. He's not gonna be hanging on for much, much longer. This is the front. This would be the west side of the house. So the hill coming in this way. Looks like a crease. So I think you pretty much get the picture. So let me short, try and move this video along. Okay, so, all right. So we have conclusive proof that there's hail. Let me just take 20 seconds to talk about how Florida native, when the time comes, that we're gonna redo your roof correctly, okay? And so um, let me start with my three reminder errors here. So the first one is to talk about the drip edge. And so the drip edge, is looking for the drip edge and the drip edge is actually over here. So you could actually argue that this gutter was installed incorrectly because it needs to go underneath of the drip edge, not over top of the drip edge. So we're gonna fix that. Uh, well, since we're talking about gutters, that was gonna be a third area, arrow. Um, typically, we don't even have to remove the gutters from the roof, we just gently pull them away, remove the fasteners, put the new white drip edge on and then just replace the the gutters without even dropping them to the ground. So we'll keep your gutters in very good shape. And then the third obvious part is just look at all the granules in the gutter itself. Look at all this. 
okay so the granules in every sense of the word are the sunblock for your roof once you lose the, the granules all the protective chemicals in the asphalt shingles start to leach out and the shingles start to become extraordinarily brittle just like that like saltine crackers and so that's exactly what's happening with your roof that's why you're getting those those hinge marks um, and the shingles are breaking off so that's how important the granules are so we talked about this we talked about that oh all right last little bit forgive my metal example here that's not the top layer is not nearly as important as all the layers underneath okay so imagine this with me we're gonna when the time comes we're gonna remove all the shingles get down to the bare plywood roof okay um, two of the building codes upgrades hurricane related upgrades the first one says place a new nail holding your plywood to your roof trusses every six inches we go every four to five inches and the other really important one is called waterproof barrier so we're gonna cover every inch of this bare plywood roof with this super sticky rubberized uh, membrane and once that stuff touches wood you can literally not pull it off um, so in the event of a hurricane let's just say well let's just say that fence folds up and ends up on top of your brand new shingle roof it's going to damage your shingles but at least the waterproof membrane will not allow water to get inside your house so that's why it's a code here in Brevard County okay and then we're going to put your as a company we only use certain teed landmark series shingle it's the heaviest thickest best shingle out there for the same price as the other companies um, but we've based I mean 99% of all of our shingle roofs are certainty landmark series shingles so that's how we're going to do your roof so I'm going to get down and talk more with Greg thanks